Hey, welcome Ozzy here. In this video, I'm just showing you that like how we can fix the broken design and Figma to Framer. So what happened mainly? So I just import here this design into Framer and it's some of the places is broken. As you can see, this section is broken also. And this is not looks exactly how I want mainly. I, how I should design it. It's not looks mainly. Uh, it's exactly looks same as you can see this is the broken and this is like something broken also and this is also like broken everything is everything is broken in here so why it's broken i will explain you in this video so whenever you're just going to import it before import you can just figure out and fix this thing then i believe it will be solved okay then you don't need to just like come to here you know you don't need to come to here and just like uh, make the position absolute or relative so you don't need to do it in here right so let's say i'm just going to make it absolute now as you can see it's going and now i need to place it down that where i really need it so you don't need to do it yourself i mean if you if you want if you like to do it yourself like okay let's make them position absolute and then just place on the right place where you need it you can do it yourself but i personally don't like so let me show you the solution in figma Okay, so first of all, let's see which section is broken first of all. So this section is looks fine. This section is looks pretty well. And this section, it's broken, like the work experience section. So let's fix it. So why it's broken? Because of, as you can see, we use here auto layouts. So instead of auto layout, we need to use here and a frame. So here we use auto layout. And if you see carefully that we just make the elements as a position absolute, right? We can see here position absolute uh, two of them. So what you can do, we can simply click on here this, you know, like this auto layout and click on mouse right button and go with frame selection. So when you make it frame selection, this will be convert, this auto layout will convert as a frame. So what I need to do right now, I'm just need to change this section name, let's say work uh, experience, experience section, experience section. And now in here, I need to ungroup it simply ungroup it so when you ungroup it as you can see everything is just placed like before right so everything placed like before and now as you can see this is something like that we get it all right so now let's say the next section is also was like broken so let's make it a frame selection and let's come back again and this is going to be about us so what i need to do i need to place at the name and i need to ungroup it so when you ungroup it all the items we get in here we get into as a frame but remember when you're just designing in figma try to keep auto layout that is not going to be that's not have any absolute issue uh, that is not have anything right so this is uh, just keep remember so now i think we fix this two section and let's see how it works so i click on here this resume option and let's click on here this plugin go here plugin and let's run here framer plugin and as you can see, now it's loading and this take a little bit time for copying all these layers. Okay. And as you can see, everything is now copy. You can see here. So everything's copy. Let's come back again, the framer again. And now what I need to do, I just personally want to delete everything uh, that is happening here. So what I can do, I can just click on here, this desktop, I mean, this resume and simply delete it, delete it. Now let's come here, this desktop and simply paste here. Just control V, then it just take a little bit time for testing all these elements from Figma. And now as you can see, this section, it's now solved, right? So let me see again here. Whatever is there, we get to see exactly same to same. But some of the other section, as you can see, it's still broken because we was used there auto layout. So I hope you understand about that, like how can you fix the broken design Figma to Framer? So if you really like this video, then please click on this like button and also do subscribe to my channel because I try to upload like interesting video like this. Okay, now let me show you on a different issue. What is that? It's something that large issue in Figma. So I don't know if it really works properly fine or not. If it's not work properly, then uh, let me show you first of all, let me show you the open it as you can see. So these design is look exactly same to same that we have a design in or design in uh, Figma, right? Yeah, so it looks really fine that I was exactly looking for. It looks fine. But some of the cases, this blur and noise effect not really works because some of the designer, what they do, let me show you what they do. Okay, now in this resume section, I don't know, I can remember or not. Okay, so this is mail the busy. So as you can see, 
So some of the designer, they are what they're doing. They are just making an, a full page of the air and then they just make it blur. As you can see, I put all the shapes in there and then I put the blur effect. Right. And then I put here an a noise effect. So I think some of the cases it's make a problem, but I think if you if you feel that like this is making problem and it's not giving that same output, what you can do, you can just disable it, right? Or even even let's say uh, let's say I'm just gonna be copying here. Let's say I'm just clicking on here. As you can see, this is the background layer. And this is 800 and this is the fill color so what you can do i can go here again and let's say drop down to let's a layer blur and let's make it 800 that it was before and now if you like to add here any kind of let's say if you like to add here any noise effect or any image then simply copy and let's say i like to go here the first one and let's simply pass it as you can see we get us exactly same to same so if you get any kind of issue with that like it's not so if you get any kind of issue let's say this color is this matching or the layer is like broken something like this then i feel like you can go with this this way i think this is the great way i think it's a, it's a giving the same same output that you're looking for right so it's not something that uh, they're going to be giving an a different output it's going to be the same so what you can do you can just go here again and the next one and let's say make it layer blur and let's say 800 and as you can see we get the same thing and if it's three on this layer this color then we'll get the same thing in here so as you can see we get a similar type of approach in here okay so that's it for today so thank you so much for watching and yes if you have any projects on framer or let's say why have any design projects then you can visit my website get wpixma.com and you can just contact with me through my facebook page or my instagram or linkedin whatever you just, just text me in there that hey i have any projects or you can simply mail me that hey i have a project for you i will definitely try to collab with you i will definitely try to help you